Hi friends, thank you for coming back. It's Elaine Marie. How you doing today? Well, I painted this the other day and that's what we're going to do now. We're going to paint a, a branch, a holly branch, okay? With the red berries. Okay, let's get going. I got red, green, black, brown, white, and dark green. This is more of a lime. I already painted my background. Okay, I wanted a lighter gray. Kind of did a little swirls right there with the white. And let's get going. Okay, now we're going to come over here. And I think we're going to start out with the angular brush. And we're going to dab that right into the brown. And I want to bring it just like this. Here we go. And press down. And it makes it thicker. There you go. There you go. I'm going to clean that right off. Alright. I have another angular brush. Now, I dampened that. Now, let's see. We're going to come in with some dark green. Okay. On the angular brush. And this is what's cool about the holly. See the way it gets the points? There's no exact way to do a holly leaf. You just kind of go, I'm going to use the tip, so we're going to go this way, kind of swerve it, a couple little points come down, over here, it's kind of, there's really no kind of rhyme or reason for the way it just has the uh, shape to it. Look at that. Okay. And if you find that your brush is a little too wet, just come back and just dab that off. We're going to fill that right in. And I like the angular brush because you do have the tip you can work with here. Press down. There you go. I hope everyone is doing well, having fun. Enjoying your paintings. Now all we do, when we come out like this, you want it to have a little bit of a point, like a holly. You, might, you can use your tip of your angular brush. And then fill that in like this. And then this point is always kind of level with this. Okay, and then I have a little lime green. Oh, what? And I'm going to bring it down just like this. Okay, and maybe over here, what we'll do, we'll do another one over here. Let me see, just to give you an idea. Okay, we go up and up and up. And then we have that point, and then maybe a couple little ones, and then a nice point. And then you're going to again fill that in. Okay, you're going to fill that in just like that. Okay, make sure the camera's doing well here. There you go. Okay, and again, use your point of your angular brush. Bring that out like that. I think we're going to give that a little point right there. Then I'm going to come in with my line. I am just going to kind of run that through just like this. And when I drive, feel free to give it a second coat when it drives. And when you press down on the angular, it's pretty cool because it will release a little bit more of that darker paint, which is cool. Kind of give you a two-toned two look. Okay, and of course that's going to get a second coat after it dries. Now, we're going to come in with a pointer brush like this. Okay, and we're going to dab in some of your red. We're going to put a red one here, a nice red one there. Maybe we'll make that one a little bigger. You can put on 
as many, many red berries as you want. This is your painting, right? This is your painting. You do what you want with it. Sometimes we connect that. So what we're going to do, I think I'm going to make a nice big one right there. Okay, I'm going to take that brush, which was my pointer. I'm going to take a little, little bit of the black and go between there you go, your berries. There you go. It'll make it pop out more. You notice that? Yes. Really, really cool. Now, let me see. We're going to come in with, let me see, a silver brush or a um, angular. And then what we're going to do, I think I'm going to just kind of Give that branch a little bit more style. There you go. Got to tone that out like this a little bit. And I'm going to dab some white. Make some white into that brown. That'll just give me a little bit of a... There you go. Like a little highlight. There you go. Love it. Now, let's see. Let's rinse out our angular brush. Okay. Rinse that one out really good. And you can make as many, many uh, holly leaves that you want. I'm going to come in with some little bit of white. And I'm going to come in with some white right at on my angular brush. Okay, just kind of give it a little bit of a two-tone there. There you go. And again, when this dries, I will be putting on a second coat. All right. I love it. Friends, I hope you had a good time. I know I did. This was a lot of fun. A lot of fun, friends. Whoop, don't forget your point. Listen, make it as big as you want. Put in as many, many holly. But that's how you do your hollies. Nothing really fancy. They kind of look just like this one with all the little points coming off of it. Okay. And also, you can always dab a little white to make it look like snow on there. Okay. I hope you're really having a good time and tune in to my next video. Bye-bye.